I'm training for the London Marathon and I'm running for Save the Rhino. So today I want to give you a little update on how that's going. All things considered with my knee, I think my training is going really well. I've been building up the distance very slowly, which has been really good for my knee. Now, last week I ran a 10K, which I was very happy about. Now, I don't have that much time left for my training, but I'm hoping that with the training I've done so far, my strength training, my prepping, uh, plus that I'm gonna run the, the marathon in intervals, uh, that'll get me to the finish of the London Marathon. Okay, first interval of 10 minutes, and he's out. <laughs> I haven't done much fundraising before, so I wasn't really sure what to do. I wanted to do something that be fun for other people as well, and still bring in money for the rhinos. So I set up an audio run. Uh, the way that worked was, if you uh, donate more than $10, you get an audio file, and you can do a uh, virtual rhino run. Um, I thought it'd be a, a fun idea for everybody to join in. Uh, if you've done the audio run already, let me know uh, what you thought of it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. I got some donations on the fundraising page, so that was really awesome. Uh, thank you if you helped out, it, it really makes a difference. I even got an, an anonymous donation, so I wasn't able to send a personal thank you. So uh, yeah, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Two weeks ago, I organized an animal pub quiz, which was a lot of fun and also a big success. Uh, the pub was full. One team even had to sit outside to play. So yeah, I was really amazed to see that. Uh, we also held a raffle there. People could buy tickets for three euros and win some really cool prizes. Uh, people were really into that. So uh, all in all, with the quiz and the raffle together, uh, we put up 870 euros that day. So that was just amazing. I was really happy with that. Every year for the past 10 years, I've organized a small film festival for short films. Now this year, part of the ticket sales also went to Save the Rhino, plus we had another raffle there. Uh, I got some really great prizes from local businesses and people were really excited about that. So we raised 920 euros that night. So that was awesome. Right now on my donation page, the count is up to 236 pounds. Uh, Save the Rhino is British, so they convert everything to British pounds. Uh, the goal is set for 3,000, so I haven't reached the goal yet, but I'm pretty happy with the amount that, that's on there now. Uh, I still have some time, so if, uh, if you'd like to donate, use a link in the description. Of course, if you donate more than $10, uh, you'll still get the audio file. You can have some fun for yourself as well. At the London Marathon, there'll be a pretty big group running for Save the Rhino. Uh, right now, we're in a WhatsApp group together, so we've kind of been in contact a little bit. Uh, before the race, we'll have a meetup. Uh, we're gonna have a, a pasta dinner together. And after the marathon, there'll be a, a picnic where all the runners and their family are invited. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. I already have my uh, Save the Rhino t-shirt that I'll be running in. Everybody's gonna run in a nice bright yellow shirt. So uh, we'll be very recognizable. It's easy to pick out in a crowd. So hopefully uh, during the race, I'll also run into some uh, Save the Rhino runners. Uh, I think that'll be a lot of fun. With only three weeks left to go, there's not that much time for training, but I am very excited. Uh, it's been a year since I've run a marathon. It's been almost two years since I've run a race uh, in a different country. So I'm very excited to get to that start line. Uh, don't miss the videos coming up to the race. And of course, don't miss the video of the marathon itself. Until next time, get out there and run.